Well, hello, my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. Well, I know I want to do October, all the um, Halloween theme ones I have, but I have to use the Romantic Tarot with Harry and Megan. I want to see if this summit that they're supposedly having, is this really about business and branding? Or is this a uh, separation agreement? <laughs> is this mediation? Or what's going on here? Like, who... <laughs> you know what? My husband works out of town, and, and sometimes it's for longer than, than we expect. And when he returns, we don't have a summit. <laughs> I mean, that's what you want to call it. But, I mean... Um, <laughs> you get some of it or <laughs> what is going on a summit <laughs> doesn't that just tell you it's a business relationship isn't it called a reunion like <laughs> you have a bottle of wine and some hoochie coochie <laughs> there are other things on your mind than business anyways um Let's just see, what is this summit that they are having upon Harry's return? What's this summit they're having upon Harry's return? What's this summit they're having upon Harry's return? What's this summit? The romantic tarot. <laughs> Guards are ready. I just thought two were of the roses. Wow, seven of swords in reverse. No real strategy. Oh, the emperor. The hermit. This is strategy for Harry and Charles. The world. Getting the world on their shoulders. About Archie. Isn't that a different world card? Look at little Archie on top, and they're trying to get keep the the story going. The world on your shoulders. Three of Pentacles in reverse. So no, this isn't a summit or a strategy with Megan and Harry. This is some kind of talks with Charles between Harry and Charles. They're the only two who showed up here, and they showed up in their major arcanas. And then look at this hermit is looking at this picture. So is this a summit about Megan with Charles? Because as we've read, as we've heard, Megan is not allowed in the UK. She's not allowed within a thousand miles of the royal family. So is Harry there creating a bargain that may be Archie for Archie, but right now there's no pl there's nothing no there's no summit between Megan and Harry. Wow, nine of wands in reverse. Yeah, they're just totally, totally embattled with all of this. Strength in reverse. Maybe Harry's doing this summit to talk to the king to get permission to be divorced. Remember, it has the official announcement has to come from the palace. And so would that go to the king and then the king would let the palace, let Buckingham Palace know? Is that the chain of command? Because here's the strength card in reverse. Five of wands. Yeah, the argument about what's out in the world and what isn't. The star... The Six of Cups in reverse. Hope and healing with William. Hope and healing with his siblings. And about how he's not trusted. He wants hope and healing. Oh, Ace of Cups upright. This is interesting. What a triangle we've got here. Look at the major arcanas. We've got the king, we got Harry, and we got Megan as the strength card, as the Leo card. But it's in reverse. And we have the Ace of Cups here. So hope and healing. 
in um, losing trust and a peace offering. Hmm. <laughs> oh, tower. Oh, oh, oh. Whoops. <laughs> whoops, whoops, whoops. Tower moment. Life quake. Somebody's just got a life quake. Four of cups in reverse. Nine of cups in reverse. Eight of cups upright. And the King of Wands and the Judgment card. Okay, I think that Harry has had a life quake, meaning that he's suddenly come to some agreement. The hand of God has come and flicked him a good one in the ear and said, what are you doing, boy? And I think here we've got, he's, he's moving on, Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. Eight of my Cups is you're leaving. You're leaving. Nine of Cups here. Or it's something that's missing as well. Something's missing, so you're going off to find it. If you're doing a love reading, that is definitely somebody leaving the marriage. Uh, Nine of Cups here is overindulgence. Four of Cups here. I think, I honestly think he may, his summit might be about his overconsumption. Whether it's I don't think it's food. I mean, certainly doesn't look like he's eating too much. Um, I don't think it's spending. He wears the same ratty brown shoes everywhere he goes. I think this is more to do with maybe alcohol and, uh, and, and recreational self-medication. He wants a second chance. He's definitely, this is what the summit's about. A second chance. Four of pentacles. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Nine of Swords in reverse, and the Ten of, of Pentacles in reverse, and Death in reverse. Could have something to do with the inheritance that he just got. I mean, I just did that reading and he did, and and he finally has some money to spend on himself. Uh, but has he spent it all already? I don't know on what. The seven of um, pentacles here. He, I think he just doesn't understand that it's over, that it's done. There's, there's no, you can have summit after summit after summit. There's no going back. None. End. No. No one will ever trust him. Um, he, you know, he did it to himself. And there's, that hope has died on the vine. And even he's, you know, with this four of coins here about, can I just come back, a, you know, once in a while, a little bit? No, no, none, zero. I wouldn't be surprised if he's disinherited. That mean like when his pa father passes away, he gets nothing. I wouldn't be surprised if that's if that is in the books with the seven of of pentacles here. Harry, Harry, Harry. Anyways, the summit's not between Megan and Harry. The summit's between Harry and his father, and what to do about Megan. So that's why May wants to make it sound like the summit is between her and her husband. It's not. But there you go. There's another example of her blabbing to the press what's going on with the royal family. They know they can't talk to Harry without it being in the press the next day or anything they say. And they know that's over. Like... Harry, no, 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 no. Not even if you bring the kids over. No. Nada. Zip. Zilch. <laughs> Nay. <laughs> like this, this King of Wands here. Um, 
this I don't I don't know why I keep, my eye keeps coming back to this smoke on there. And I think to myself, does this have something to do with, with like and you know, redhead beard and sitting there kind of slouched and look at his wrinkly gray suit. And even though he's not a wands, uh, is this something to do with his pot smoking? The way he wears that wrinkly, you know, kind of slouched over. I mean, he showed up to one of the things wearing jeans, you know, stinking like cigarettes and pot. Um, that's what I was looking at that, wondering, is that a, re a representation of Harry? All right. Thank you very much for watching. See you online. Bye for now. <laughs>